Welcome to Dissolving Gases. In the last video, we looked at how solids and liquids dissolve to form solution, as well as the factors that affect how well they dissolve. In this lesson, we're going to look at what affects the ability of gases to dissolve, because gases behave differently than solids and liquids. You may not be surprised to see the two main factors that affect how well a gas dissolves are temperature and pressure, since those are the two major factors that continually come up when we talk about the behavior of gases. So let's take a look at how temperature and pressure affect how well gases are able to dissolve. The first thing to know is that temperature has the opposite effect with gases that it has on solids and liquids, which means that gases are more difficult to dissolve at higher temperatures. Well, let's think about why this is, because the kinetics shouldn't change at all. Higher temperature means that there's more kinetic energy, so the solvent molecules are moving more quickly just like we talked about with solids and liquids. However, when you're trying to dissolve gas into a liquid, having the molecules of the liquid moving around faster is not beneficial. And that's because at a higher temperature, the solvent molecules are moving very fast, so they're having more collisions with the solute particles. But when gas molecules undergo collisions, they can actually be knocked right out of the solution. So those collisions can send the dissolved gas particles, or the gas particles that you're trying to dissolve, right back out of the solution, making it more difficult to keep them dissolved. So while having more collisions is beneficial for a solid or liquid solute, more collisions is worse when you have a gas that you're trying to dissolve. This is actually the reason that you would keep soda in your fridge after opening it to prevent it from going flat, because putting it in the fridge lowers the temperature and helps that carbon dioxide stay dissolved in the soda. So now let's take a look at pressure. Pressure is not one of the factors that we talked about for solids and liquids because it has virtually no effect on them. Increasing or decreasing the pressure on a liquid doesn't really affect how much solid or liquid you can dissolve in it. However, pressure does affect the solubility of gases and for very similar reasons to what happened with temperature. If you increase the pressure on a liquid, it becomes easier to dissolve gas particles into the solution. So higher pressure makes it easier to dissolve gases. From a molecular standpoint, you can think of the pressure pushing down on the liquid, essentially trapping the gas molecules in the liquid, not allowing them to escape. So the gas molecules are basically being forced to stay dissolved by the high pressure. If we think back to our example with the soda bottle, this is why when you get a fresh soda bottle, if you open it, you hear a hiss as the pressure escapes. That's because soda is bottled or canned under high pressure to keep the carbonation in the soda, and carbonation is simply dissolved carbon dioxide. That wraps up our lesson on dissolving gases. Write down any questions you have in your notes and bring them with you to class.